Hello, first graders. Our lesson today is going to be Chapter 8, Lesson 4. It's our problem solving in our measurement unit. Um, to get us started, let's take a little video on, on how we're going to do this. Problem solving. Guess and check. This carrot is less than 10 cubes long. It is more than 2 cubes long. About how many cubes long is the carrot? First, we need to understand the problem. What do I know? The carrot is less than 10 cubes long, but more than 2 cubes long. What do we need to find? About how many cubes long is the carrot? Next, we need a plan to solve the problem. Since we don't have a lot of information about the carrot, we can guess and check. We will guess how many cubes long the carrot is, and then check our answer with cubes. Now, solve the problem. Look closely at the carrot. Look closely at the cube. We'll guess that the carrot is three cubes long. Let's compare the carrot to three cubes. The carrot is longer than three cubes. So, we need to revise or change our guess. Let's guess that the carrot is seven cubes long. That is too long. The carrot is shorter than seven cubes. So, we need to revise our guess again. We'll guess that the carrot is five cubes long. That is right. The carrot is about five cubes long. Check. Is my answer reasonable? Yes. How do we know? Five cubes is less than ten cubes and more than two cubes. So we're going to use the check, guess, and revise to, or guess, check, and revise to help us. Our standard today is going to be MD2. It's using non-standard units to measure things. So you might not have cubes at home, but that's okay. You can use M&Ms or Mike and Ike's or something smaller that you can to measure our objects. So this first one is done for us on our problem solving on page 581. Remember, I want to underline what I know. So I know that the carrot is 10 cubes long, and I know that it is, it is more than two cubes long, but I don't know how many cubes long it is. So I got to guess first. I'm going to guess four. And then I'm going to measure, then, I'm, then I can use it. So again, if you use M&Ms, you can change these to M&Ms, and you can guess how many M&Ms it's going to be, or, and then actually find how it is by measuring. When we measure, we want to make sure that we stay between our two lines. So we go from this line to this line to measure our object. Okay, so let's check it out on our practicing. So again, the container is less than nine cubes long. To do this, I want to underline what I know. So I know that the con container is less than nine cubes long. And I know that it is more than one cube long. So it has to be somewhere in between there. What I don't know is how long that cube, the container is. So my first thing is I want to guess. I could guess about how many cubes long it is. And I would put that in here. So again, if you're using M&Ms, you just take a guess on how many M&Ms it would be. I could say it is five cubes long. And then I would actually measure it by putting my cubes, or in your case, M&Ms, or Mike and Ike's, or something else there, and measuring how long it is and finding my answer. When you're done to check it, you gotta ask yourself, is my answer reasonable? If I said it was 100 cubes long, I don't think that would be reasonable because my 100 cubes would be way too long for it. So today for your practice, again, you might not have a cube, so you can use other items that you have at home and just change it on your paper from the cube to whatever item it is that you have. If you have cubes, that's awesome. If not, just use whatever you have, and you're going to first guess what, how long the corn is and then actually measure it. Again, we want to stay between the two black lines to measure the actual object. We want to make sure that our measuring doesn't go be in front of or behind that black line. Today, your assignment is going to be our math pages, which is on page 583. 
and 584. When you are finished, make sure you take a picture or submit it into Canvas. If you have any questions, let us know.